So my car has a hidden feature. Not exactly a hidden feature, a feature that has been hidden by the previous owner. You might be able to tell from this. Reverse. It goes beep. It goes beep for five seconds, which is an indication that the park distance control system is not working. I could have easily told you that because there is no park distance control in the back. There are no sensors. They should be somewhere on this trim piece, but they're not here and there is nothing behind this. I'm going to remove the rear bumper to see if uh, maybe, maybe they're hiding somewhere behind the bump. So the bolts are located here. You can see the bolt right over there. We need to get to that. Now, as you can see, the surface is made of very large gravel. And I've got this tiny little piece of cardboard to uh, make it softer. So, uh, yeah, not the most optimal situation. I struggled profusely to get these bolts out and it took me more than 10 minutes. You can tell by the state of these bolts that this car is German. Look at this thing, man. Holy shit. Now in theory, the, you, need to, you need to remove two tabs over here, but my, my shit is wide open. I don't think they're holding anything on either side of the car, so. I think I just need to pull. And evidently, I needed to do more than just to pull the bumper. So, this being a second hand car, I've, I'm struggling with a few things. First, two uh, self tappers here, and another self tapper. Oh, oh there we go. Actually, two more self tappers. Now these were a massive pain in the ass to actually remove. As you can see, I'm using a massive multi-attachment ordeal thing to, uh, well, try and get, get them out, but uh, it didn't really work out. So I decided to lift the car up to get more clearing in the wheel well, but uh, well, that did not go too well. I ended up damaging the side skirt. Yeah, so uh, indeed there are PDCs in the back, but they are just the plugs. So I'll need to get the PDC unit as well. Damn. So look at this thing. God damn. Apparently I have a, a hitch. That's interesting. Is this a hitch? I don't know if this is a hitch. Go down. Well, that's disappointing. Now I've got to do the reinstall. Fucking hell. Now, the reinstall was not a successful thing. It took a lot of finagling to try and get it somewhat to fit like it's supposed to, but uh, it didn't go as planned at all. Now, here I am re-self-tapping the self-tappers, which was a mistake because here I am underneath the bumper finding out that the bolts do not match, the holes for the bolts do not match. So I had to un-self-tap the self-tappers once again. And let me tell you, this takes quite a while. Even after freeing up the bumper, I cannot get the bumper bolt to line up properly and to actually start tightening. I spent well over 20 minutes trying to do this on the very rough gravel. So in the end I just decided to remove the diffuser, which obviously as you can see is not in the best condition, so this was a risk. But it was a risk I was willing to take. As you can see I look absolutely destroyed from this otherwise very simple job. Please appreciate this amazing shot, it's right between my legs. Like everything else in this job, it took me quite a long time to uh, screw these the, the large bumper bolts, but I finally did it. And again, for a third time, this well, it was day, but now it's night. This uh, 
this evening I screw on the self sappers. Final touches include a few uh, hits on the bumper and a few pushes on the diffuser. This footage is <clears throat> this footage is sped up 16 times. I would like you to appreciate just how long it takes me to screw in the diffuser and I would also like you to appreciate how it gets darker and darker and darker. So in the end it was a fail. Now I've got a giant, ignore the rust, I've got a giant panel gap, same thing on the other side. Uh, yeah, maybe not the best idea I've had or maybe the, not the best execution I've had. God damn.